Marnie, you can't keep all of this hay next to an open flame. Marnie? Stardew Valley is a game about a wiki page. But we covered that in the last video, which by the way, thanks so much for checking out the last video. I liked it, you liked it, the YouTube algorithm liked it, and now here we are going at it again. This time the goal is to settle down. Just you, your love interest, and a thorough guide on their darkest secrets and how to give them no choice but to fall in love with you. We're starting fresh on this one because apparently chivalry is dead and the last attempt is beyond repair. Or at least that's what Wikigod told me. Oh god, back to the luau. I'll put this fish in. Hope the governor gets mercury poisoning. Uh, oh, come on! Ugh. Ugh. Stardew Valley gives you a choice of who you want to date, marry, or just be besties with. Only a handful of the village folk are wifey material though, and I don't think the game explicitly explains why everyone else is off limits. Here's my guess though. No dating people in committed relationships. Okay, Stardew Valley, I'll play along, I guess. No dating people with jobs essential to the game. How many more L's can essential workers take? But the real reason for the selection you get is simple. Breedability. That's right. Sorry, Clint, you're plenty submissive enough, but it's just that damn essential worker clause. You understand, right? I believe Maru is marryable, but something tells me she was expecting something different out of life than being a farmer's wife. Other than that, I'm sure there are mods out there to make it so you can marry anyone you want, but I mean, come Come on. It's not bad enough you're essentially reading their diary through the wiki page to figure out how to force them to like you. You have to mechanically alter their opinion of marriage. But I digress. Standard procedure here, you pump them full of the items they like and talk to them once in a while, and eventually their heart meter fills up and they're ready to procreate. Just like how mom and dad met. Sheesh, all I did was give her three dandelions and a topaz and she's showing me her third eye. Oh sure Penny, I'll help you clean up, no problem at all. Oh god, what is this now? What is happening? You, you smell like beer, Pam? What? Oh god, this is getting real awkward. I better... I should probably get out of here. This is a bad time. Oh, Penny wrote an apology. That's nice of her. Oh, Pam wrote something too? Get me a beer. Okay... Oh, Mom sent me cookies. That's great, Mom. Did you know that I'm broke? Shane sent me something he stole from Jojomart, alright. I played a little Stardew on my Twitch streams once and married Abigail, and I was very confused by the amount of people that were like, Damn, does your girlfriend know about this? What? I don't know how to tell you all this, but this isn't me. Just because you fell in love with Harvey <coughs> the beta male and envisioned your own fanfic where you two can be together happily ever after, doesn't mean you have to project that same sentiment onto everyone else who plays this game. Shane, please stop sending me your stolen items, what? But anyway, once you've gotten one of your breeders to eight hearts, you give them a bouquet to make it Facebook official. The bouquet can be bought from Pierre's. It becomes available once you have at least one person able to receive it, and wouldn't you know it, the game actually tells you this one. No wiki page necessary. Until literally the very next step where you have to get them up to 10 hearts and then wait until they storm and find the mariner who shows up in the corner of the tide pool which you would have already had to have repaired the bridge to and also have already had an upgrade to your house and also it can't be winter and he'll sell you an amulet for $5,000 uh, co coins, gold, whatever that is. I, I think there might be a book or something in the game that explains something of this to you but like come on is this a town or a cult how was i supposed to know all this stuff just choose wisely because you can date all of the fertile star doings but apparently you can only marry one <sighs> one wife how am i supposed to get into heaven now oh what am i a three pump chump a three-stroke joke? What is this? Shane, I am begging you to stop sending me this stuff. Please. So I actually ended up deciding to go with a big surprise. Leah for the ending because her 10-star event, no spoilers, was just way too awesome to not. It was just too good. But yeah, it all happens pretty smooth from there on out. And honestly, this is about as far I got in any of my attempts at uh, playing Stardew Valley. So if you want any more of this, I guess I'm going to have to play more.
Shane, am I supposed to be laundering these for you? Mr. Willabob, are you going to marry Miss Penny? Well, listen, Vincent, that's not up to me. You gotta take that up with the Pelican Town Marriage Council. You'd like to live in a farmhouse? Again, I'm not the one stopping it, okay? Thanks so much for watching, and like last time, comment below if you want to see more or what you want to see. This is my second channel, and it's about to get partnered on YouTube. Uh, I really like making these videos. I could totally do more of them. It's fun to do, so make sure you're subscribed, and check out the main channel, Willow Davis, and I guess see you next time.